Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do something a little bit different. There's been a trending thing about distressed t-shirts and dresses and they're being sold everywhere. So I decided to go ahead and try and make one on my own. Everything that I will use will be listed in the description box below. I bought this Marilyn Monroe t-shirt from the thrift store for $5.99. And I first started out by laying the t-shirt on a clean table that I didn't mind getting scratches on. Then I take some scissors and just pinch the t-shirt randomly and cut out. Then I pull the cutout just to make it a little bit loose. As you can see, I made a lot of cuts because that's just really what I wanted and the kind of look that I was going for. But, you know, use your own discretion and make as many or as little as you want. So now I'll just continue to cut and pull and I'll be right back. Next, I take a razor blade and make cat-like scratches and just do it randomly anywhere that you want it. Now, I mainly focused on the front of the shirt and I didn't really want to do too much cutting to the back of the shirt. I'll just let this play out so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing and I'll see you guys in just a second. Now, when I got to the collar, I went back with my scissors and cut right into it because I really wanted bigger, more um, dramatic holes around the neckline. Next, I take some bleach in a spray bottle and go crazy, but not too crazy. And then I flip the shirt on the back and spray some more. Now, I just wanted the back to be a little bit and not too much. So that's why you can see I focus mainly on the front. And some of the bleach that I put on the front actually, you know, got on the back. So which was perfect and it worked out. Lastly, you take the t-shirt and rinse it under the sink with cold water and let it air dry. You can run it in the dryer if you want, but I just chose to let it air dry. And this was my final product. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out any more upload. And as always, see you in my next one.